guys, good morning. It is Saturday, March 12. It's raining out here. I'm set up down the driveway because I don't want to have to compete with the sound of the machine. But we're going to be doing some experimenting with the red gun today with a pressure gauge so that we can find out what is truly and actually happening here, okay? I don't know myself because we haven't run this experiment yet. All right? To be clear, we are using the Honda GX690 gear drive, eight gallon per minute with a K7.3 unloader on it. The pressure was set from Manatee. I don't even know what it is yet because I have not run the experiment. I'm gonna put the green tip on the Sutner gun with the pressure gauge and we're gonna see what the pressure is to start with. I'm not gonna make any adjustment to the pressure. Then we're gonna put the red gun on and hopefully be able to film what the spike is on the gauge. So first thing is I'm gonna set up the green tip and we're gonna see what we have for max pressure. All right, that is way more pressure than I ever need to work with. So I'm definitely gonna be turning that down to probably 2,500 after I test the red gun now. Hold on. All right, there's your red gun on full. No PSI. You let go, you see it spikes. Okay, it's spiking to about 1,500. Okay. So that proves very clearly what the spike is. Is it blowing the gun apart? Doesn't seem to be. I'm not trying to start any arguments with anybody about anything. Let's be clear. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm gonna go turn the pressure down on the machine because I do not need 3,500 PSI for anything I do. This is a house washing machine, not a concrete cleaning machine. We don't really have any surface cleaning that I do up here. And last year I ran all of my machines at 1750 PSI. So it's like twice what I actually normally use. All right, we're at 2000 PSI now with the green tip. We're gonna swap in the red gun and see what we get. We still have no PSI wide open. Look at that spike. Maybe 600. Okay, I'm gonna try to do, freeze the video and get a uh, snapshot of that to put in here. All right, but that's more than reasonable, I believe. I'm gonna run it like that. Okay, my normal operation is not running with a ball valve. This is clunky and heavy for me. I'm not dragging it around. I like the idea I saw from Bill about putting a stop in here. Okay, that's interesting. If you're gonna run with a pressure trap unloader, that's certainly the way to do it. I wouldn't let all that pressure build up behind the gun, but this is going to work for me. That concludes my experiment for the day. Okay, one last test. Let's do a distance test. We got the Lufkin here, zero. I'm going to stand right here, okay? And I don't feel like I'm losing any distance from turning my pressure down. See that orange stake down there at the end of my driveway? I'm all over that thing. It's pretty much where I was. Set at 3,500 too. All right, a lot of volume down there. A couple feet past that orange stake. Let's go walk it out. Zero.
Boom, orange stake right there. 57 feet. No complaints. Okay, one more test out of curiosity is gonna be a flow test. I got my 15 gallon jug. It's empty, bone empty. We are at 2000 PSI. Let's see what we get. We're gonna start on the 10. seconds so exciting isn't it I know hang in there coming up on that 10 there we go let's see where are we at oh yeah baby we got the same flow okay this mark right here is nine gallons all right, that's eight gallon per minute gear drive, flowing at nine. Through the Flow Pro, Pro, Flow Pro, all the way, man. No restriction through the injector. Nine gallons a minute. Red gun at 2,000 PSI. Rinse mode, baby. 